Welcome to the vlog. Happy, happy Saturn day. It's morning and the pressure is on because it's my son's birthday party. So I was down to the wire with editing last week's vlog. Um, that's just how it is. That's the schedule. And I love it. But today I made the studio, my bedroom, the studio. And um, Nate was irritating me. That's what husbands do. Love them though. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. And of course my children had to join work from home things. Okay, let's get it though. Okay, we're deep in party prep time, assembling dirt and sand cups. I'm gonna be on chocolate duty. Daddy's gonna be on sand duty. It's snowing pretty heavy. Maybe you don't know what a dirt cup is. I grew up with them. It's like, you know, a cupcake and Oreo crumbles and pudding and gummy worms on top and then the sand version is everything vanilla, so vanilla cupcake, golden Oreos, or vanilla wafers, maybe before a golden were a thing, um, vanilla pudding, and worm on top. So they're kind of a party food because to eat all of these at home would be a little bit wild. And the prep, you know what I mean? So they're definitely a party food, and they went off. They were a total hit. This is what they look like. Try them sometime. They were actually snakes because I could not find gummy worms. Weird, right? Happy birthday, dear Betty. Happy birthday to you. All right, dude. Make a wish. Good evening. It's nine. I was hoping I would actually be in bed by now. Um, I was underestimating how overstimulating bowling would be. Rex had a bowling party a couple years ago and it wasn't that intense. But um, the kids have fun, you know? Uh, but I'm feeling still like quite affected by my moon time and that plus the environment, I'm like feeling kind of down on myself. I'm just, and I, and I wonder about that. I think I just need to, um, before bed, take a little bit of time in my journal. I'm still sitting with those cards from the other day. Just take some more time with that and, like, um, just look at why I'm, why I'm, like, so reluctant to receive positive feedback and, like, accept wellness <laughs> and, um, I'm like, what else am I struggling with? Like, I wasn't gonna turn this on. Like, I just was gonna go to bed. But I, I just wanted to sort of maybe capture a moment of honesty, which is always the balance with this kind of stuff. It's like how much, like, I don't know how much people really wanna hear about <clears throat> struggles. Um, and I also know that it can be relatable, but And I guess um, I'm, I've been proud about how I've handled problems head on. Lately, recently, but it doesn't feel like it's time to do that. It feels like right now it's time to reflect and sit with things before like um, trying to do something with the information. Like I just need to kind of gather some information for myself. But Rexy's my camera tonight. When he got home, he like wanted to film a little haul of um, an unboxing of some of his presents. So my battery's dying and it's just, I gotta just tuck in. It's like, a, it can be, it's like such a critical moon. I'm having a really critical moon. I haven't had this in a minute. And then immediately I'm like, why am I, why, why? But I'm just gonna let it be and be with it. This is me keeping my word to myself at Daphne's nap time and choosing to get something done instead of just scrolling. So very proud moment for me. And here's proof. Now that we're getting to know each other on these vlogs or you're getting to know me, I'm curious to know what you like seeing 
if there are specific day-to-day things that you're most interested in, um, but this is going to be a little bit business-heavy chat in coming now. Hey, y'all. I was um, productive during Daphne's nap time. I just kind of feel anxious when I, like, I still feel anxious when I put my business out there. If you get it, you get it. Um, so anyway, I'm just telling you how I feel um, because I think I'm going to take a little herbal break. Something that's coming around again in my life is like the power of hemp flower. I do love my THC heavy cannabis. Like sometimes that's the mood, but with my anxiety lately, it's not the mood. It's not gonna be the mood, and I'm, I'll like avoid smoking. But um, Kai brought me all that amazing hemp. Did I like show you all the things that they brought me? They brought me some amazing birthday presents, but they brought me a bunch of hemp flower, which um, I've talked about on like podcasts and different things. But it's really can be my medicine sometimes because it's a much more mellow high and um it's just like stabilizing but also relaxing and like relieving so i would i just like hit sort of a checkpoint in the work that i've been doing um i got the postcards up for order and so by the time you see this they'll be closed actually but if you're on my email list hopefully you'll have have been notified so yeah people can order a little postcard for their valentine and i'm i have so much more on my to-do list and that's what i think is overwhelming me this is just like one thing um but it's like a pretty relaxed day over here rex is playing with his new birthday things and i'm just gonna do the step-by-step um tasks to get to the finish line. So I've put it up on my website, which is step one. I'm going to get it on social. I'm proud of what I've done. I love when I can focus. And I think this is going to be exciting if some people want to enjoy this. Just so you know how it is, like I haven't actually done what I said I was going to. I'm just continuing. I'm still posting. It's probably been half an hour. I'm still posting. Questions are coming in. Questions are good, but they also make me anxious because one of my biggest fears is not being clear, not being a clear communicator. And pretty much any time I use Instagram for business, my anxiety builds. So over the last year or so, I've been working to build up my Pinterest, be communicating here on YouTube, um, and build my email list. Those are the three places I want to be. I want to be on Instagram as little as possible. It's one of those like, um, I don't know what to call it. One of those things though, where like I keep leaning on it because... It, I don't think it is the most efficient, but it's like urgent and quick. So if I, and sometimes I do like time sensitive things. So anyway, just a little insight. Um, but I'm going to add, now I'm going to go in and add this link to my bio site. It's endless. It's really endless. Precarious. No wonder my camera's broken. Link name is required. Valentine postcard order I hope this is clear I'm getting anxious add an image I'm gonna change the order of it I'm gonna put it at the top obsessively checking my email to see if anyone ordered one they didn't now it's tea time time to integrate back with the family have a little dance party see what everyone's up to also it was fully rex's actual birthday so but i honestly i was in workaholic vibes and i can still go there if i don't check myself but i feel like i've got a good balance going these days so that was one of my tea slash ritual drawers just pulling out a couple bags i love anything tulsi and ginger has really been supporting me but of course i pulled out the blue lotus as well I started giving my kids tea when they were young, so they have an affinity for it. It's not like torture or anything to get the medicine down, which I'm really grateful for, that we can share a love of herbs like that. (sighs) Okay, um, it's just past midnight. I've completed my work. I'm proud of myself. Um, but I'm here in the blue light in front of my laptop. This is that time of night where like I actually hit production. Um, and I'm like cleaning out my inbox, but I do want to go to bed. I got a great night of sleep last night and I want to tonight, but I did have a little bit of coffee and I think it's affecting me. 
know that I said that I'd be hiding, but um, I'm really proud of myself. I rallied and it was e also easeful and everything's in flow and I am keeping that momentum and I'd like to um, maybe label my water with something new this week. Uh, and I was just checking like, yeah, my messages and my inboxes and things and my friend invited me to this Blue Lotus Heart Song circle. It's tomorrow though, well actually technically today and we have like conferences for Rex and things like that and so it's just too short notice for me. I actually just before I opened this email I messaged a woman that I want, have wanted to have tea with since September and I messaged her inviting her over but I said let's do it in the spring <laughs> meaning like March and let's put a day on the calendar. I love to just know when things are coming up so anyway this really took me by surprise because as I was sharing with you Blue Lotus, it, it like continues to circulate for me. It's it's one of my plants and um, that I have an affinity for or that I feel like courts me and um, this time of year specifically, this like turn of the wheel, I like to be with it. So I feel really elated that other people feel the same or at least it's synchronistic. Um, again because this time last year I actually taught a blue or led rather a blue lotus ceremony um so like I love the spiral of it anywho I just wanted to say yeah we had we watched a movie tonight Rex got to pick the movie we watch a movie every Sunday it's his birthday he got to pick it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I mostly did my Duolingo because I was about to drop out of the Diamond League and like I'm not about to do that so all is like really well you know my moon is like kind of dissipating and I think I'm gonna get it yeah okay wait what I wanted to say is that I'm doing the thing I'm doing the thing that I said I operate best in which is Sunday knowing what I'm doing for the week breaking it down by the day and getting it so let us definitely follow up tomorrow, but I'm back. Cool. Literally, I have the week down. And it's not chaotic. It's not chaotic. Okay. I'm going to bed. And I'm sleeping well. I have everything I need, literally. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Yeah. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing, and I gotta do it. Who doesn't love a making the bed montage? I'm dying to get new everything, y'all. We need new bedding, but that's an aside. I decided to pull a card right before bed, and I got dressed, and that was so cute. I'm really feeling it. All right, I'm trying. Remember that time that I was, like, going really crazy on, um... On a Mars day, well, it's Moon day, but I am feeling the fervor. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the focus. Like I was telling you last night, I'm back, and I made my bed. I took my shower. I got dressed. I mean, these are jeans, <laughs> and um, and I, I'm kind of putting the house back together in a, in a way. Uh, we had the Papa Papa John chair here, one of them, and it was temporary because Twig got sketched out about it. And just needed more space after her surgery but she's been cleared and she's basically acting normal now and it was just like not right for the space obviously <laughs> and I couldn't see my full body outfit I couldn't walk the runway so I just moved that anyway I'm just like kind of moving stuff around I actually need to start focusing and getting Rex to school but I'm just excited about this energy I'm carrying and I'm excited um to like do a little rearranging a little feng shui I'm out. I am making the children some tea, but I am like really tempted by this extra coffee that Nate has. I have, well besides the spicy cacao, Nate and I still have not dipped into that, not that I can't. I have the bold and I have the super happy sunshine. This feels like such a Mars day thing to me. I just, I wanna do super happy sunshine. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get all of our cups. I my my I say old neighbor, but um, the 
place we used to live. Georgia found these like little cups on the side of the road or in the alley or something. They're really sweet and like child size and I just, I didn't like buy them, you know. I, I know this is a good attitude to have but I was like, I didn't buy them. I'm not like not torn if, if they break. They're actually pretty like sturdy. Um, so I just let my kids drink tea out of those. Nature's pocket. Let's do it. And they have their own little cups. Rex is brushing teeth. I have not been on my fire cider. I've been like taking the heavy hitting herbs um, due to my illnesses, but I have a bunch of fire cider, so I have to just get on that. And also for my for my stomach health, I also have a whole thing of bitters. Um so I gotta get on it. I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna live my best life. Man. You got that done, dude? No. What about what sweatshirt are you gonna wear today, love? Bye. Okay, will you put that on? You'll have to stop with the Legos because it's like time. Yeah. Bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up, but one more check to get for it. A dryer? No. I think just maybe one of those orange ones would look really cool on you today. I actually like fire cider. Spite my face. I should put that on my salad. <gasps> I'm gonna make curry veggies today and it calls for apple cider vinegar and I'm just gonna sub this. I love doing that. Another day, another tea break. I'm really loving these Rasa sample packs. I've been looking at buying a big bag of them, but I like the having this variety, so I'm torn on what to do about that. Tea shot, cuties. I'm going to have my herb for the morning. I'm so grateful for the variety that cannabis provides in like form and consumption and potency. Um, I think I mentioned this in the last vlog, but my anxiety is kind of up, which I'm sure for you too, paranoia, anxiety can be heightened. Uh, with cannabis use and um that's its own dissertation i think i probably have mentioned it in my psychedelic scaries video but just to keep it focused um to like support myself in the best way right now i'm going to just have a little bit of um hemp flour because i like the route of smoking i like ingesting it that way but Hemp is not as intense of a response. So, um, and I'm also not doing the bubbler. I just don't have the moment for it. I'm just taking a one-y one -y hit. So I'm going to have my hemp directing to the east. So grateful for that. Thank you. And you may or may not know this or be like part of this culture, but there are other herbs that you can ingest by smoke. Um, that's just like a valid route of ingestion. And so this always brings me next level as well. Just makes me feel like so in tune with beauty and the ways of the earth and bringing in some other plant allies that balance me. So this was gifted to me by my friend Maria Moore. It's a sweet medicine by Maria Moore. She put this little tag on it. And this tastes so yummy. Blend of herbs and flowers to smoke alone or with other plant allies. Crumble the fingertips and remove the long thumbs. Okay, how about when I roll my joints for my medicine bag, I will be sure to um, just kind of like spliff this. But um, you might be able to see a little bit. You can see the blue lotus right away. You can see the rose. I think she has some mullein in here, which is like a, uh, can be a wonderful lung herb, you know, just protecting because of that route of administration. I don't know everything that's in here. I would bet something like sweet is in there. I wonder Tulsi. She does work with Tulsi a lot. She never um told me like the exact herbs, but I just love that blue lotus is in here. This tastes yummy. It makes me feel yummy. Um, there's all different herbs that you can smoke or share with cannabis. So, um, I'm just going to have like a hit of this as well. And then I'm going to go off. Mmm. 
the way that those taste, though. All right, let's just say that my sunglasses are on, if you know what I mean. And Daphne is deep in conversation. I am listening. I am receiving. And as soon as I take out a toy, you know, she's actually done with it. So now we're cleaning this up. She's such a joy and delight. I love my time with her. It's so special. And, you know, I also be needing space, but that's another story for another day. She wanted to play with Brother's Putty, and when Brother's at school, you know, he doesn't have to know what's going down. And we love to have the music on. We love to have it blasting. How cute is this? She actually combined his two putties immediately upon having her chance to use them so that was the sitch but I love them I want to try like all the slimes if you've ordered slimes from like online for real please let me know which ones um because I actually love it so this was time for me to give my dissertation to Julia I told you my friend and I Julia talk all day every day via voice memos and I had been holding off all weekend because of Rex's birthday to let her know about my spread and so I'm getting all set up this probably was like a full conversation of an hour. It's so interesting. Why don't people, we don't talk on the phone though, because I have to be pausing. This is just like the modern thing where we're, we're voice noting back and forth and back and forth. But it's, it's one of my most favorite things to do. I'm absolutely a verbal processor. And so having this gift of friendship means a lot to me. I, I'm able to be seen on the level of entrepreneurship, of spirituality, um, of being a woman. We constantly are talking about our cycles and navigating that in terms of running our businesses and optimizing our businesses around that. Um, I was going through my spread and just a couple of things I was noting was how important reci- how important feedback is and how it's actually a form of reciprocity. I was sharing with her this sort of four directions template that I'm applying to my business process. I shared my struggles when it comes to communicating with my partner who is a man and how to approach things with grace but also clarity. So that took a while and then I got to putting together this spell jar kit that I was sending off with Aspen Botanicals order of oracle cards. Had to show off my clear countertop before sitting down to put this charm confetti together and of course film content because why not feed two birds with one seed? That's a revised saying that my friend Jack shared with me. Now these little charm confettis are available at Aspen Botanical Spell Jar Bar. Let's see. I mean that still looks kind of bright. Maybe I do have to do this. I need your water. Maybe it's... All right, this is my friend Anna with an H, and she was the one holding the camera before. She's actually a photographer, so I was so blessed to have her over because she, like, played with the settings on my camera to get the lighting back. I just, you know, I say it all the time. I love my friends. We connected years ago uh, on the basis of building our businesses and have remained friends she is such a great listener she's a midwestern transplant as well she has taken many photos of me over the years for my business taken photos of me and my children my family she'll stop by my pop-ups and get a few snaps so i'm eternally grateful for her and her sweetness her calmness her the way that she shows up um So please check her out. She's tried all different styles of photography over the years. So if you need something, let her know. And if she doesn't do it herself, she probably has a referral. So this is us catching up like seriously, probably for over a year. You know, we text and we see each other in passing, but she's so patient with me and my motherhood. And so get you friends that fit in your life. You know what I mean? Okay, well... It's 5.35, and we just got home a couple moments ago. Rex actually had conferences tonight, and yes, he's a rock star. He's doing amazing, so. But it was also the book fair, so he got, and he had a voucher from something, so he got two new books, and Daphne got a book. So um, we're home, and it's just kind of been boom, 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 eh? 
I was gonna take some time to decompress after school, but I ended up just Instagramming for my business. So I'm a little bit awesome, babes. So I am gonna just try to take this time of meal meal pre preparation. As, got it as devotion. Um, and also like a be both and like be tired and be grateful. Be like a little bit low energy and still be doing the thing. So I'm just deciding what to make. I'm gonna rally. I think I'm gonna make chicken enchiladas. Did you see how cute the confetti came out? They're darling. So I'm gonna finally go ahead and ship this off tomorrow. Okay, cuties, it's Mars Day, but I'm um I'm a little bit whatever this is. It's not bad, you know. I love your bracelet. Um, I'm just making us a bagel. I had like a lot of sugar yesterday. I'm so tired and I got good sleep. So I'm thinking it was that. Um, because my moon is like pretty much over, so <sighs> and I also could just literally be a, being a mother and being asked questions every three seconds of my life. Could be. I'm spending a little bit more time on Instagram this week also because I'm sort of like selling my postcard thing through Instagram and that just makes me feel anxious and like urgent because I'm also seeing other people's stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like to start off today, I'm gonna eat some food with my daughter. I'm gonna be at the altar. I'm gonna drop in. I need to like drop all the way in and like remember who I am and what my center is because it's easy to get spun on that platform, you know? Get it. I still grill. I can't buy that bullshit. Gucci Mane. So yeah, that's the plan. And that's like what it quote unquote should be every day. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just jump into things. I'm getting the bagels ready for us, darling. And that's going to revive me. I'm so grateful for all of the tools in my toolbox. I'm in a one year. I have like so many resources and tools at my disposal. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get it. But I am excited because postcard orders are coming through. So sweet success. Tangible success. What is that? A bagel. Girl, it's a bagel. It's a bagel. Mm -hmm. When I went to spend time at the altar this morning, I was going to refresh my water and relabel it. So that's what you see me doing now. But this plant that's sort of in view is some really dried motherwort, like extremely dried, like it's collecting dust. It's been drying all summer, fall and winter. Um, so I'm obviously not using it as tea, but I was feeling called to bring it into ritual in some way. And so I just left it on the altar uh, to sort of infuse from the morning as I cleansed and blessed myself. I used this incense that was a gift from my friend Niyasha. I don't believe that her ritual tools are yet online, but she has a plethora of her publications and is actually fundraising um, for her publishing company as she's writing to change the narrative. She has Black Tarot. She has an elemental guidebook and an oracle deck. Trust me, you're going to want to check her out. So I came up with my word. I was really tapping into the heart space and the idea of opening my heart and spreading my wings and soaring. So again, with the element of the east and the smoke, and I just wanted to bring it to Daphne's level so I could hang out with her while I was pulling my cards. I got patience, as you'll see now, and that felt totally on and right. In my prism deck, I pulled comfort super sweet and <clears throat> it was just sharing to lean into my self-care practices then I got the sacred phoenix heart and that really spoke to that sore kind of motion and I had to spend time with my baby girl mom life in between everything 
and I just had the music on. I love Ayla Nerio, so I think that's what I was singing to that morning. And the death card, but that blue lotus on the crown, though. Daphne's asleep. I just stuffed my face with sugar. I'm going through it. Not really, not like deep, but you know, I'm like being like on autopilot. And I'm, oh my gosh, the kitchen's a mess. I have to make the choice right now on what to do. I know it's not keep working. I know that's not the choice. Um, I'm deciding between taking the bath or reading a book in Rex's room and falling asleep, which is what I think I'm gonna do. Where's my book? I just have this theory that like, sleep will fix everything. It's not always true, but I just wanna like sleep more and then, you know, like let's say moms for example, it's like you don't you didn't really do the self care, you know. You actually just went unconscious for a little bit. Which is great, I love it. Um but there's a part of me that's like you should probably just take the time for yourself and really feel nourished. But I am I'm gonna read a little bit till my eyes get heavy and I'm gonna lay in Max's room because he gets like the best sunlight and like coziness in here. This is like the nap room, so that's my plan because you know what the bathroom we don't have any windows in our bathroom up here where i like to take baths and it's like it's just like dark in there it's dank and i i don't actually want to feel this i actually need some vitamin d so um i can take a bath tonight when, after they're asleep and then i can like take as long as i want because sometimes daphne interrupts it by waking up and then i'm like wet and then i'm like trudging and then i'm like trying to finish you know I scored two of Cindy Dale's chakra sort of manuals at the thrift store this summer and I've been making my way through those and I just love learning about my craft and it just clicks for me. I love now having some years under my belt of intuitive work and then affirming it through reading. Back from school pickup, I got some kiwi fruits. I'm gonna cut that for Rexy and all of us to enjoy. I'm coming around a little bit and I'm just doing my best. It's it's a it's a situation of alignment. Like pretty much no matter what I choose, I'll like find a way to be dissatisfied with it. So um I just have to like find my find my happiness and center, you know what I mean? I have a call with Priscilla tonight. It's her turn to receive. So um, we do that about once a month where we check in with each other and I get to hear and pull cards for her and, and sort of help sort and guide her way in business and in life, mainly to take care of herself and to show up for herself and remain in her center um, as she goes on her path of entrepreneurship and um in her role at the at the clinic so yeah i'm coming around i'm doing my best i'm drinking my water i went a little crazy on the sugar um but i just have grace with myself so i was really excited to dip into these kiwis i believe in color therapy and kind of eating by chakra and so i was happy to open my heart and get these kiwis popping and my kids and I never eat this, so it was such a little special tart treat, activating that green energy center, supporting our blood flow and our gut health. All right, so fast forward to past bedtime post session with Priscilla. I adore energy sessions and the reflections that they give, and especially energy sessions with my sisters because the mirror is so clear. Her generator tendencies boosted my energy and motivated me to get in the tub with that motherwort that you saw me breaking that down. And I had the most gorgeous ritual, like very clearing with this medicine. It was a long time coming. This is me doing my best to recall and record my dreams. I try to do this as often as possible. It's extremely challenging when I'm abruptly awoken at all times of the night by my name being screamed repeatedly. So it's just the season, but I do try to record. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's Mercury Day. 
and I was just um, dream recalling. I keep um, connecting with my grandma Lolly, so that feels uh, nice and sweet and exciting and curious. And I'm up. I just took Twig out. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna straighten my hair. And um, Maxie has late start this morning, so we can kind of take our time, which is my favorite thing because that's how I operate. And um, I'm feeling so so much better after last night's ritual. Everything came together and it was really potent and perfect timing and I feel really held. So that's how we're moving forward. As I was doing my hair, I was listening to Abraham Hicks, some morning rampages, some of my favorite rampages, and just continuing to find that frequency of joy and appreciation and excitement that it was my turn to receive and listen to Julia's messages while I prepared some morning tea for myself and my children. Daphne is in princess mode so she started the morning in a frozen dress and needed a bell dress on by the time the tea was brewed. It's so nuts y'all but I'm the same way. Um, and just adding some strawberries into the mix of our kiwis and also preparing our favorite curried vegetables. She said, wait a minute. Okay, back to veggie prep. So yeah, I showed this probably in the vlog before, the one before. We eat this all the time. I'll make it at least once a week and I'll try to make a big batch so I can just reheat it and my kids love it. I'm so grateful. Peppers, potatoes, cauliflower, whatever, carrots, throw it in, make it yum and make it nourishing. Daphne, of course, is my tiny helper. Rex used to be like that, not so much anymore. And dance party in the morning. You would not believe the music I have blaring but it's what gets me by. Then it was off to our play date. Those mountains though, am I right? Eternally grateful to live here. We are at one of our favorite parks and it's a little bit wintry, but we're making it through. This is Anna. Hi. <laughs> this is my friend Anna. Do you know Anna? Anna and I were in first grade together. So cute. And we found each other in Colorado again. And she's my tattoo artist. I mean, oh, yeah. if, you, if only you could see her sleeves. Do you know my grandma Lolly? Actually, Anna does know my grandma Lolly. <laughs> Once upon a time. Because we were Girl Scouts together. Yeah, yes, all the things. So um, if you need tats and piercings, which I do, and I'm going to be finding you. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so cute. Go, to, go to Smoky Banana in Broomfield. So while we were in Lafayette, I had to stop at the apothecary. Little herbal... This place is so special to my heart. They are the sweetest group of herbalists and herb-loving humans. So helpful. They teach classes. They have everything you'll need. They have bulk herbs, special blends, tinctures, supplements, crystals, a little play kitchen for your kitties to hang out while you're there. They have this jewelry, they have card decks, hello, follow your heart oracle, front and center. Daphne loves to sip tea, and here's their collection of other decks as well. You can really find anything, so check them out if you stop in Lafayette. Can you wave? <laughs> so cute. Let's see what's going on in here. What's going on in here? Hey! Okay. And Nate and I did some tax stuff tonight. So I'll be sending that in officially in the morning. I'm gonna just take a little duo break. As the week closes, I know that I have responsibilities. I'm really excited because postcard orders are continuing to come in. And I want to send them Saturday. So I think that, well, tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> So Friday will be like a pretty heavy day of, of completing them. Um, but as you know, I like to get the vlog up Saturday. So 
I'm just trying to not ruminate too much on what needs to be done and rather just get the things done. So I'm doing it. I'm doing the things. Staying hydrated. And sometimes yelling at my kids. You know, everything everywhere all at once. I'm learning directions right now. Turne agosh pui va tu dua. All right, continuing to work on my computer. I have no idea what I was doing. Maybe tax stuff, maybe cleaning my email up. Who knows? But I got it in, and I'm always proud of myself when I do. My children fangirling over their father like they do every day. We are so blessed. I'm so blessed that Nate goes to work every day. I couldn't do it anymore, y'all. This is the life for me. Flexi schedule, magic and rituals, any time of day that I want. It's really sweet because in the dollar section at Target, there was a little teapot and cups, and I picked that up for Daphne, so she's been having fun mixing up her own potions and blends and sharing them with me. Hey, I was kind of in a mood this morning. I was kind of in a mood, but like, um, orders keep coming in. I'm a Capricorn. I love money and I love like being successful. And I love that like people love this. I love that people are interested. Okay, Daphne has held me hostage all morning with frozen music. I never thought we'd be that family, and yet here we are. I want frozen. I know, Squirrely. So I'm just wrapping up these dishes and I'm gonna keep going. I, I found my momentum, you know? I did have a little bit of coffee. Mostly. Baby, I, let me finish what I'm saying, please. Yeah. Okay, then I'll put it back on. I had a little bit of coffee, so I don't know if that's what had to do with it. I got a little pep in my step, but now I'm drinking my Rasa, and I, like, sent out a bunch of communications this morning, and people are, I like communicating. I'm an extrovert, so even though I'm, like, at home all day, and, you know, I've been complaining about having appointments and stuff, I like to communicate on my time, and I do like communicating constantly throughout the day. So, like, I'm receiving messages, I'm sending messages, people are responding back, and I'm just like, yes, we're in flow. So, Mama, do you don't want me to get hurt on this? I don't want you to get hurt, exactly. Do you don't want me to get hurt on this? My motto today was just kind of like, move through, go through the motions despite how I was feeling, like not being my feels too much and just like, you know, move it along and it's working. I love being a solopreneur and, but sometimes like I have to fill out this random form for the state and it's just like, I'm just a creator y'all. I don't, why are you having me doing back and stuff? But I figured it out. And then my friend Jess stopped by cause she had my Yoni box. So she came to drop that off, but we, um, it turned into like a little sash, you know, uh, but I was trying to get as much work done as I could because I was feeling the pressure of the weekend coming. So this is me doing that. So Jessica left and Daphne was like breaking down. Daphne's so funny with her like boundaries and things and like how she is. She teaches me stuff all the time. But um, sometimes when I have guests, she'll be like, when are you leaving? <laughs> and then she'll just start being like, bye, bye. Um, and she was doing that. But Jess and I had a really like vibey little sesh and um, we have some things in the works. I love my friends. I fucking love my friends. Um, and I had to put Daphne down immediately. So that means that's my free time, but I needed a moment of decompression and I'm like working on some business things over there. Yikes. And whatever. I can't get into it too much. I just have to move forward, but I only have um 15 like 10 more minutes to claim my chest on Duolingo. So before I get into my like sort of cleaning duties, I am gonna I'm gonna duo. I didn't I didn't realize today is my year anniversary. I've been duoing for a year. I've been looking forward to this. I can't believe it's today. I feel like someone needs to see this. Someone needs to witness me. Someone needs to celebrate. We have half a cake from Nate's birthday left. I could maybe put some candles on it and um, I make them sing something to me. 
Rex is gonna flip. I have to screenshot this. I'm gonna balance you on my knee. My teeth look white, even though they're not. Okay, I'm really stoked about that. And like, now what? Now what? What are they gonna give me? They gave me five gems and how are they gonna celebrate me and my loyalty to this app? Me? Oh, well I have to go, maybe I have to go into my, um. let's do this. Okay, I went into my achievements and now I'm gonna claim my reward. What could it be? A hundred gems for spending a lifetime on this app? Is that ungrateful? I'm so sorry, let me teach gratitude. Okay, I do accept 100 gems, now I can do a legendary lesson. Um, and this is a huge comp. I'm so stoked. I'm just gonna have to celebrate myself. Okay, I know this is probably the craziest segment you've ever seen. But I am a little bit, um, I need to like shake my body, I need to move. OG Tidy Tour time lapse. I had to clean my shipping area. I can get a little excessive with saving the packaging, but you never know when you're going to need it. So I've reorganized what I have, and I found this box full of physical products that I had prepared for a market this winter, and I wanted to show you. So this was a collab with my friend, Lindsay from Mountain Bound Pottery, she made those little jars and I painted on some of the solar plexus symbols from my deck, Golden Thread and the Worthiness Crown, and I sprinkled the candles with Calendula. And I might either sell these at another activation or please let me know if you're interested in any of my little ritual physical products and I could work out how to get them to you. So what I love about those is those are some solar plexus symbols and the solar plexus element is fire so that made sense and wait till you see these sweet ones so same sort of thing where i've aligned the element with the symbolism so these little shell trinket dishes are painted with the flow symbol deep into creation symbol front and back and i also have wait till you see it one that is for patience and these are all sacral chakra related I had to leave the sound in on this because I like the crunchy ASMR of the tissue paper. So after I got my packaging sorted again, it was time to clear the actual desk. Finally, I know those cords like have no business being there, but there's nothing I can really do about it. So just ignore that. But I have, okay, this was like one of my early decks because um, I met this woman and actually have a video with her on my channel. It's EFT Tapping. She explains that and takes us through it. But I just, these are such like simple, sweet affirmations. I thought it'd be nice if I sit down at my desk to just have those to get me moving. And I love these candle holders. This desk is like so ragged. But um, oh, I have like some of my like downstairs inspo and my wise woman needs will from Karina Wood. I've taken her spiral once. I'm going to go back through it. It's really fabulous. Yeah. Oh, you actually put water in this time. Okay. Oh, it's really good. It's a little hot though. Can you get me an ice cube? Oh, all right. It's been about a year and a half since we've lived here and I'm still trying to fill up our home with art. And imagery. Is that cute? I really have loved this blanket for so long and it's not really like a big enough blanket to keep you warm and it's actually so gorgeous. Now it's all filled and like weird but because we actually have used it in our family for a few years but I think the warmer side is better and Nate bought it at this like um, little vintage shop but they also like import different textiles internationally. This one might be from India if I remember correctly but I don't know just something to do. Let me see if Julia likes it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, let me check on the veggie stuff. I know earlier in the week I was like ha struggling. I could not see the light at the end of the tunnel. I was feeling still so disorganized and discouraged. It's just interesting to be a cyclical being, especially a bleeding being like Things just change. They just shift if you just hold on. Because now, I swear, everything is coming together. Everything is aligning. My energy is picking up. Um, I'm elated by 
the results that I'm seeing and like I have and hope. I told it. You taped it up. Thank yeah. you. You go girl. I'm seeing it coming together and like I'm really like I'm trusting in how it is coming together. And it's just such a beautiful feeling. Like I'm on, you know? And I'm gonna keep being on. Follicular phase. I'm gonna give you some lore. The other night with the motherwort ceremony, which I have motherwort here, that's part of that same batch of medicine, but that's literally all I have left, which was part of why that ceremony was so special to me. Um, the, the dried motherwort was actually from my garden this year, but the rest of the tincture that I had poured into the bath was made from herb from my friend and medicine woman, Julia Lyons Garden. That medicine is so special to me because of where the herbs were grown and it was only the second medicine that I made by myself. I shared it with many of my sisters over the years. Motherwort has gotten me through some very deep and dark, scary times, and it just felt right to drain that medicine, offer it up with prayer, and be inspired to make new medicine this year. Daphne was cruising the aisles when we went out, and when we got home, I made one of Nate's favorite potato and chicken meals. What up, daddy? Okay. After putting Rex to bed and TikToking for longer than I'd like to admit, <laughs> you are not one of my elite employees. I can't cut that. Um, and stuffing my face with tortilla chips, I'm going to start working on my computer. I'm excited to do postcards in the morning. It was time to prepare the session summary for Priscilla. Whenever I have one-on-ones that are beyond a pop-up capacity, I will provide a summary of our conversation, our symbolism, notes taken, noticings, maybe action plan if that's something that they're interested in. Uh, just so that people can feel really dropped in during our time together and it can be a lot of information. I'm a resource girly. I like to provide people with information and they can practice their discernment with what I provide. So um, I'm thinking about opening my books again for virtual sessions. If you'd like some projector spiritual guidance with anything, please hit me up because um, I might be encouraged to do that. And even though I stayed up super late, to get my work completed, I pulled a card and of course, cannabis prosperity came through for me. Another day, another wave to daddy, another boiling tea kettle. I wanted to use my friend Lindsay's mug, happy new moon, I'm feeling the vibes and I even opened this spicy cacao rasa that I had been saving. It was Venus day, what was I supposed to do? And the new moon in Aquarius. So I treated myself and I couldn't get over Daphne spinning around. She's holding one of our family pictures that we took at the fair this summer and kissing it. I can't with her. She is so precious. Um, and then I just wanted to do something quick at the altar, but I couldn't. Oh, my neighbor was walking by with their dog. And I had to just say hello and get Daphne in there too. But I came to my altar to do something quick. And you know what? It wasn't going to be quick because if I don't reset my altar within the month, I have to do it at least once a cycle. And a new moon time is a new slate. Here's some rose glycerite by Aspen Botanicals. That's the apothecary I'd been talking about the last couple of weeks who just got my decks in and has the uh, charm confetti at their spell jar bar. But this turned into a whole clearing um, not only for myself, but for also resetting the altar. I have videos about that. I have an altar sort of tutorial on my website. It's within the shadow work module, I believe. But I also have a series of videos here in a playlist, anoint with me videos, which is me like really going through being at the altar and, and walking you through what I choose to put on my body and adorn myself with. But this was just new moon vibes, making a little wish 
a little intention with the incense and fresh and clean y'all Daphne insisted on a dance party and being swung around so I granted her wish as a mommy would and we got our setup going for writing postcards I've been really looking forward to doing this um, I ordered these postcards a couple of months ago and this just feels like such an aligned offering for all of my favorite things, you know, stationary, writing love notes, connecting with friends, being a spider woman, and just increasing the connections of the web. So of course I had to bless the postcards and the process and each person that ordered <laughs> and select an oracle card and pairing it to the postcard that I was going to send to their friends. Daphne got her own deck to keep her busy. And that's what you see going on here. I started off with my first order. The woman that ordered these is one of my childhood best friends. We've reconnected recently and it's so special. And I love how people show up and support me. You know who you are. And um, yeah, exactly what I'm saying. I'm dropping in. I'm trying to select for the person whose name I see. And then I'm pairing that with the postcard that they'll receive. So I have put a lot of intention and thought and care into these like I do with literally everything and that's why I'm grateful for all who support my business because I do it in the way that I think is true and I want to interact with the world these are the types of businesses I want to interact with people who give a shit <laughs> give more than a shit about um, what's the energy that's actually put into something if you missed out on these, I'm sorry, but please make sure you're on my email list so that you know when something exciting drops or is being offered. Y'all, we have to go get Rex in 10 minutes. I've been writing all day, and if I haven't been writing, I've been promoting. It's this catch-22 because I'm like, this is obviously successful, so I want to keep telling people about it. Um, and also, I don't know if I can handle more orders because they're just like... The the time I actually put into writing them. Oh my gosh, you're rocking that baby. That looks so sweet. I'm so grateful though. This is all I've ever asked for is to be booked and busy and like just doing something I want to do. Just doing things I like. So I've used up all the stamps that I got the other day. So I'm going to need to go back after school. But all is well. Let's look at my to-do list because I'm like, what else do I even need to do besides either like upload this vlog? I did the, that email. So edit blog, do the voiceover, write the postcards. That's pretty much my job today. So I'm just staying in flow with my job. And I'll just have to like maybe make this an annual offering, which is really cute. This is such a follicular face thing to do. But while I was at the post office getting more stamps, they also were, ran out of the... Um, they ran out of the loved ones, but these are really cute and like actually more my vibe. It's all like little charms and stuff. So I got more stamps, but while I was there, it's also like a hardware store. Look at this giant fern. If you've cared for a fern before, please give me your tips because I have another fern and they're not doing well. I may need to get it for me for our anniversary to have a love fern and it's actually like not well. But I've had it in the bathroom downstairs. It's touch and go. So I'm gonna try, I just thought like the moisture would be good, but Look at it. So I'm going to move it up here. I'm just like kind of rearranging plants now. I'm taking a little bit of a postcard break because I went ham. I'm getting used to it. I don't know if, I don't, I don't know where to put it. I don't think it should live there, but like literally I don't know where to put it. It does have a hanger so I could hang it. But now the wreath takes up so much space there. I don't want to, I'm going to have to think about it. But anyway, <laughs> y'all, I think I might just sign off for the night because I'm, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. It's gonna bring home pizza. I'm gonna write more postcards. I'm gonna do the vlog. I'm gonna put this footage on the vlog. I'm gonna record the voiceover for the vlog. I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, and it'll be the start of a new vlog. So. Thanks for hanging out this week. Thanks for sticking around for these long form videos. Sometimes I feel crazy that I edit like a whole movie every week, but 
If y'all keep liking it, please tell a friend. If you got like a witchy friend, if you got a wackadoodle friend, send them my vlog. They might want to put it on when they do the dishes and we can do them in tandem. This really rocked. So I feel like next week's gonna be even better. Yeah. Okay. Signing off. Happy new moon in Aquarius. It's gonna be the dark moon for a couple of days. So if you wanna try some rituals, get some rituals in. Do something, do make it small, make it big, whatever. But if you aren't tracking cycles and like following that, it's a cool opportunity. It's a new year, it's a new age. Peace, let's be with you.